think of it as it's like a, a tunnel for traffic. So now, instead of just being a server, you can actually use Nginx as um, really a fundamental building block for digital infrastructure, for application delivery. So, you know, it can be, these are just four of the things that it can do. Nginx Plus is, is really what we're talking about. Um, you know, you can use it as an application server, but you can use it as a load balancer for layer four or layer seven. Um, it can do a lot of different things. So um, when you think about Nginx, you can think of it as kind of a building block where you can snap together these pieces of infrastructure. You know, okay, I'm going to have an API gateway and uh, they're going to, the client is going to connect through an Nginx WAF um, and then through an Nginx load balancer and then get authenticated by an API gateway also running on Nginx and so on. And when you're looking at building these things and snapping these things together, you know, it can be that you use Nginx as a bare metal server. So um, Nginx is just a, uh, a binary that runs on Linux. So you can install Nginx on any Linux server, but you can also package it as a container. Um, you can run it in Kubernetes. You can run it in a virtual machine. So we can scale all the way up to some monstrous, you know, Dell EMC box with like 128 CPU cores. But we can also scale all the way down to something like a Kubernetes pod, which uses, you know, like a fraction of a virtual CPU. So like a fraction of a fraction of a CPU and everything in between.